Head to Jalalabad city and the main mode of transport, a car, has a competitor. It's the rickshaw, or tuk-tuk, as it's more commonly known. It's not hard to see why tuk-tuks like this are so popular in eastern Afghanistan. It's a quick, cheap and easy way of getting through traffic, with over 6,000 alone estimated to be on the road at any one time. While the cost of running a tuk-tuk has always made it an attractive option for taxi drivers, there's been a recent explosion in the popularity of a new fuel, which promises savings of up to 50% over petrol. Any vehicle running on petrol can be converted to run on LPG or liquid petroleum gas with a few simple modifications. For drivers like Isan, the benefits are obvious. LPG was to get them to the liquor. La Masrapica will da Hatamami among the Masrapki gas to till dear way of gas come. There is, however, another side to this story. Whilst the procedure for conversion is fairly straightforward, drivers have been using unlicensed backstreet mechanics in droves, leading to a spate of incidents where tuk tuks have caught fire, killing all on board. In a poverty stricken country such as Afghanistan, it has proven difficult to convince people to opt for the safer, more expensive option of a licensed conversion. A local businessman, Isak Sadath, is keen to get the message across to drivers that conversions must take place by qualified mechanics. Uh, this people, they use the normal commercial cylinder from the street and they put it in their rickshaw which is not safe and there was too many cases that we uh, have discussed with these rickshaw drivers that have too many cases of fire as the result of uh, unsafe uh, use of uh, gas cylinder when we designed a cylinder in Turkey to provide for them a safe system, saving money and also uh, will be uh, good for our environment. The gas to fill these cylinders is currently imported from neighboring countries. In the future, it's hoped Afghanistan's natural gas resources can be used, which would bring the price down further and benefit even more drivers. <laughs> Besides the obvious financial savings, LPG gives off far fewer emissions than petrol, a benefit that can be experienced by every resident of a crowded city such as Jalalabad. Lawrence Cabin reporting for the NATO Channel.